famous Harlem Globetrotters have made Northeast Wisconsin a stop on their 90th anniversary world tour. Two members of the team are here with me now. Buckets Blakes and Elgato Melendez are two of the guys you can see throwing the ball around. So you guys are here. You traveled the whole world and you're stopping in Wisconsin. What's it like to be a Globetrotter and literally travel the globe? Um, it's one of the best things in, in the world right now. I mean, I, I, I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm the first born and raised Puerto Rican in the team in 90 years. Which is awesome. Nine years. It's amazing. It's about time, right? And, yeah. <laughs> it, it's about time. And uh, basically, it, it's just amazing not just represent now my island. It's just representing all the Latinos in the country and around the world. And, and it's the best feeling in the world. That's great. And, and Bunkets, actually, you've been on the team for 14 years. Yes, this is my 14th season. I've been to 79 countries um, since I've been on a team. I'm on my third passport. Uh, they actually just added 20 pages to my uh, third <laughs> passport. Because you're um, going to fill them up. <laughs> exactly. But it's, it's a great experience getting an opportunity to make people laugh and smile all over the world and, and uh, touch all these lives. You know, um, I don't speak 79 languages, but laughter is universal. So when That's we do right. go to these places, we make people laugh and smile despite language barriers because it's all, you know, uh, as human beings, we all naturally want to be happy. Right. And it's definitely a different experience. You're an exhibition basketball team. You do tricks and all these fun things. You make people laugh. How is this different from playing, because you both played basketball before this, how is mm -hmm. the experience different? Well, it's just reaching to each individual is, is the difference. Like normally when you play professional, you go play basketball and then you go on. With us, we actually do our uh, visit hospitals, visit school, over That's 400 right. schools a year. Uh, also including hospitals, uh, bring our programs for ABC, the bullying prevention. Also to spin a uh, uh, challenge for some plan, some playing time is necessary yeah. and every kid needs uh, 60 minutes of exercise every day That's right. Right. and and just to interact with with the with people is the best thing about it and we do uh sign autograph after every game sure. about 30 minutes for for the mm -hmm. for the crowd and and actually helps us to hear the opinion of each each person <laughs> yeah. and how much they enjoy it and what yes. who was the coolest thing they they love and actually help us to get better for for the future so right you are a very interactive experience and like you said mm -hmm. every city you go to every country you're doing mm -hmm. more than just playing basketball yes. you're also yes. getting in the, involved with you do a you bullying prevention program mm -hmm. yes you want to talk a little bit about that yes well we have several community outreach programs mm -hmm. and as he mentioned one of our programs is our ABC's of bullying prevention that we put together with the national campaign to stop violence and they put on an initiative called do the right thing okay. w-r-i-t-e right thing they get 60,000 kids from 30 different cities across the United States to submit essays on violence violence in their lives and the number one cause of violence found in those essays is bullying in school so they thought it'd be cool mm -hmm. to have the Globetrotters go talk about bullying prevention and the kids usually get the message because our uh, uniforms are so elaborate he's so tall he's and we got a lot of tall. cool tricks <laughs> and then we bring kids up to represent the A, the B and the C which means action, bravery and compassion. Right and what better mm -hmm. spokespeople than Harlem Globetrotters right you guys are awesome people love to come see you and most everyone has heard about you in 90 years yeah, right yes, what's it part to be what's it like to be a part of this legendary it's, group? It's amazing you know uh, you know, following in the footsteps of the Curly Nils and, and uh, Metal Arc Lemons and, uh, um, you know, He's watching the Globetrotters on uh, mm -hmm. Scooby-Doo. Right, they were cartoons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you were, you were to, a cartoon. To wear yeah. this uniform, you know, we wear it with a lot of pride mm -hmm. and we make sure that we try and represent mm -hmm. not only ourselves, but uh, the, uh, the organization and the brand mm -hmm. to the best of our abilities. Yeah. This year is going to be fun because we're going to wear the vintage uniform. Oh, okay. The, the short shorts. Like the, the <laughs> so really like the American flag ones. Like yeah, the yeah but they're going to be like short, like back in, in <laughs> yeah. 1970s, 1960s. You sound a little too excited about these. We are. We've been working on our legs trying <laughs> we, yeah, to get ready for these yeah, uniforms. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. your High shows knees. are very exciting. You do a lot of tricks. People want to see the tricks. Is there anything you can show us now that won't give too much away? Yeah, we got yeah. a little bit of yeah, something. Like a little oh, bit here. here, you handle that first. Hey, well, just a little bit of space. Wow. Show it up for you, boy. Hey, it's kind of like juggling. I uh, know. See, we try to take as much. We'll get right to the gusto. There you go. Pop. Well. There you go. <laughs> All right, but it always ends with the finale. Let me get Whoa. that going. You step you on this side okay. and put one finger up. Just look at the camera. Don't okay. look at the ball. Okay. Ah! Am I doing it? Yes. You oh my God! Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I did it. Thank you. Oh my You're gosh. Welcome. I feel like I. Do you guys need an extra player too? I'm well, just... we have three women. <laughs> we have three women. Okay. Good. Yes, yeah. I'm glad so, to hear. You know, we wouldn't mind the fourth. 
but you got to get your skills up though a little bit. You can't get too nervous <laughs> yeah. when you spin that ball. Okay. <laughs> you guys don't seem like the nervous type though. No, no, we don't get nervous at all. We love coming back here every year, so you guys can catch us at the Rush Center um, on the 26th. It's the day after Christmas. It'll be a great, uh, great stocking stuffer, too, that would be. for those of you out there. So um, also, you get a chance to meet us before the game. He mentioned after the game, we have something called Magic Pass. You can pay a little extra for Come to the game early, um, test your height up against cutouts of some of our players. Our tallest player is 7'4", the shortest player is 5'2". We have dribble stations and also um, you can take shots and get the ball spent on your finger just like you Just did. like I did. So definitely you want to check out all the fun to join in. You can see the Globetrotters. They'll be at the Rush Center in Green Bay on Saturday, December 26th. Their show is at 2 p.m. You can get tickets at RushCenter.com and we have more information up on our website, NBC26.com.